Hi Virgo, welcome to your journal forecast for the end of March. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Virgo, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. And we're going to take whatever comes out here. So it could be love, general, work, career, finance. We're going to take the energies as they come. So please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. Um, it could be past, present, or future. If it's not fitting for you, then it's not your story. Please don't try to make it fit. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And you could be male or female watching this. So let's see what's going on for you, Virgo, at this time. I say at this time, I consider all my readings timeless. So down below in the description box, you will find your love and general playlist, along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that info is below in the description, bo description box and the uh, pin top comment. If you're not comfortable, if you'd like to send a gift, um, I mean, if you like to send an energy exchange or tip, donate, not comfortable with PayPal, in the premiere only, Super Chat is open and available for tips and donations and energy exchanges if you so choose to do that. And if you do, thank you. All right, so Virgo, this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet. So we'll see what comes out for you. And then with this deck here, I'll pull an opening message and then I'll pull another for your current energy. And then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. Look at the actual situation, whatever it may be. Advice, possible outcome, extra messages from the healing fairies. And then this is uh, new cards I bought at the Dollar Tree. And they're prayer cards. I got two and I mixed them together. They're different. And you could call them prayer cards, affirmations, whatever. But at the end, I'll pull one of those for you as a little bonus. So... Let's see what's going on for Virgo at this time. Virgo, Virgo. What do we have for Virgo spirit, please? Thank you so much, Virgo. What do we have, okay, for Virgo. So if you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. Cancer, so some of you could be dealing with a Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Or maybe you have Cancer in your chart, but if not, totally fine. So let's see. And Cancer does represent the chariot and the tarot. So that's about moving forward, uh, successfully moving forward. So see if that plays into the reading here. If not, it could just be Cancer energy. All right. So let's get an opening message for you with this deck, Virgo. See what's going on with you at this time. Opening message for Virgo spirit, please. And um, Virgo, I just did um, get over the flu a few weeks ago, but I still have a lingering cough and a little bit of congestion. So if I do cough during this reading, I'm apologizing in advance. And um, so please be patient and bear with me. All negative comments will be removed. All right, Virgo. So your opening message here is the eight of Michael. You can be free. Make a uh, courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. So this is the Eight of Swords energy. So this, you could be trapped and stuck in your head about something. <coughs> but this is telling you that you can change the situation if you choose to. So whatever you're stuck in your head about, Virgo, whatever it may be, you can choose to get yourself out of that energy. So let's see why you're in this energy. What is your opening energy? Wow. It's too many. Let's get one for your opening energy for Virgo spirit, please. Thank you so much. Feeling that one. The Ten of Raphael. Okay. This could be about love. So we got the Ten of Cups. Love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members. Happily ever after. So it could be um, something about your happiness. It could be a love situation or something with friends or family that you love dearly. Something about your total happiness and joy and fulfillment. Something that makes you happy, but you're stuck in your head about it. So we're going to clarify this energy. Let's see what's at the bottom. So we have strength here. Archangel Ariel, strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, forgiveness. So maybe you need to forgive um, a friend or a family member or even uh, a lover or something like that. Somebody, something or whatever here, if it was family or friends or a lover here, somebody who made you very happy and fulfilled you. But for some reason now you're stuck in your head. But you can have the strength and courage here to overcome this, to tame the beast from within, to have that willpower 
to do so if you choose to. So you can get back into this energy of the Ten of Cups. Or this can talk of a very strong bond with somebody and maybe you're a little scared of it and you're stuck in your head about having this Ten of Cups with somebody you, somebody that you find uh, you have a very strong attraction to or um, connection with. So we'll see. We're going to clarify this energy. I just want to say thank you to all who have supported my channel in any way you have supported me. Um, in honor of just reaching 10,000 subs uh, a few weeks ago, I am having a giveaway. It's still open through the end of March. You can win a tarot deck along with a free 20 minute reading by me of your choice. So if you're interested in that contest, that giveaway, please check the description box and the pinned top comment on how to enter. And if you do, good luck to you. All right, Virgo, let's see. Why are you in this energy of being stuck in your head about a Ten of Cups situation? The devil. All right, so this could be fear. It could be toxic energy or it could be, you know, very strong attraction, um, sexual desires. It can be also fear, anxiety, and worry about this uh, connection, this Ten of Cups. All right, so what else? What else for Virgo? King of Wands, fire energy. So being fiery, so that's a very fiery, passionate energy. I mean, there is love here with the Ten of Cups, but there also is a lot of fire and passion and maybe a lot of strong sexual chemistry, desire, could even be addiction, uh, obsession, also fear, stress, worry, and anxiety. So it's like I feel like I'm wanting to rush into this person like right over the Ten of Cups and just get to <laughs> just get to the passion, I feel. But you're kind of stuck in your head about this. So uh, I don't know, let's see. Let's get more energy for you, Virgo. So we have the Ten of Swords. So this is a, some sort of painful, hurtful ending here. Maybe fear, fear here of this ending. So we do have the High Priestess here, which is about gut intuition, listening to your higher knowing, but also an energy of not really saying much. Could be no communication or keep it to yourself. Let's get a couple more, see what's going on here. Six of Cups. So this is definitely a soulmate connection here. Could have had past lives with this person. It says pleasure on here. So I think it could be you or your person. Somebody's worried about rushing in just for the pleasure. It may ruin this connection. It may be just all about the passion. A very strong, strong like chemistry between two people. But there is the energy here of either you or your person wanting the Ten of Cups, but somebody stuck in their head may just want the passion. But somebody's worried here this may end. So, I mean, the High Priestess can be about either secrets or just no communication or higher knowing, gut intuition. So let's see. Let's get one more here. Six of Wands. So we do have success and victory. We have two sixes here, which is about balance. So I do see victory. I see pleasure and victory. <laughs> but there's an energy here of being worried about this ruining maybe a Ten of Cups situation. I'm getting also, if you give in to the pleasure and the passion before really getting to know this person or dating them exclusively or whatever, it may, a fear of, of this may, may ruin the connection also. So let's get uh, the actual situation here. But I do see definitely soulmate, six of cups energy here. Could be someone you know from the past, someone you know for a long time. Um, childhood sweetheart or someone you've had past lives with. Definitely soulmate. Soulmates coming together here with the six of cups energy and having success and victory. But some worry about here about something ending over <clears throat> a very strong sexual connection here a passionate connection so we have the fool i don't i think someone here doesn't want to do something foolish i mean this is about jumping right in taking a leap of faith 
We do have the Prince of Pentacles, which is very slow moving. Knight of Pentacles, which is very smart, practical energy. And moving forward carefully. And then we have the King of Swords here, which is about truth, clarity, and swords always remind me of divine energy, especially King, Queen, Ace. So let's get a couple more for the actual situation here before I read too much into this. Now the Prince of Cups. So we got two pages here. I mean, two knights. We have the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So the Nine Pentacles upright is a single energy, independent energy. But somebody does not want to be single here. It could be you or your person. Somebody has truth and clarity and now wants to move forward with a lot of stability. Take this leap of faith to move forward in love. And does not want to be single anymore. But somebody's worried about the fire and the passion maybe ruining the connection here. If it was just, say, a friends with benefits or a casual connection where you just met up for the passion, now I feel like somebody wants more. Somebody definitely wants the Ten of Cups here. But somebody's stuck in their head maybe about offering more. If it's just been like a mutual agreement, I'm guessing kind of. Somebody does not want to be single anymore. They definitely want to move forward in love. They want things to stabilize. They have truth and clarity. And they want to take this leap of faith. Either with you or you with them. But somebody may not be saying that, but they're thinking it. It's like they want this victory, but they are afraid it may ruin the connection here. Someone definitely does want the Ten of Cups with the other person. But this is your energy, so it could be you. Or you knowing that your person wants more, but maybe you know that they're not saying anything and you're not saying anything either. So however it resonates for you. So let's get advice in this situation for you, um, Virgo. So we do have justice here. So that's truth and clarity, things balancing out. Getting justice in this connection. And we have the star. So here's faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true. Divinely guided energy. Healing energy. The star and justice. This is a divinely guided connection here. It's meant to bring balance, clarity, to bring justice in each other's lives here. It's divinely guided. Healing energy between the two. Wishes and dreams coming true. Wow. Advice. Advice. So whoever's stuck in their head, I don't know. It's either afraid of Prince of Swords, Knight of Swords. So moving forward quickly in the Page of Pentacles. So, <clears throat> you know, the Page of Pentacles can be um, very stable communication. Knight of Swords are moving forward very quickly. I think if somebody makes a solid offer, a very stable, grounded communication about maybe moving forward slowly together in some way, then things will actually move forward quicker and bring justice in the connection here and wishes and dreams coming true. So that's the advice here. So either you or your person. I feel like it may be you because this is your energy, Virgo. It can be male or female. If you make a solid offer, very grounded, sincere communication, then things are just going to boom, take off like that. All your wishes, dreams come true between the two of you, balancing and getting justice between the two of you in this connection. I see passion. I see love. I see soulmate energy. Very, very strong bond here with the, could be actually a twin flame soulmate connection here with the devil. And the devil doesn't necessarily have to be bad. You could just really talk about that strong, strong chemistry, passion, and connection between two. But just be careful. It doesn't become toxic. So let's see what your possible outcome is. So Eight of Pentacles, putting in the dedicated off, uh, effort, work, being stable, grounded here, putting in that work. But moving forward also uh, 
with balance, drive, ambition, successful, successfully moving forward here, and a lot of balance. So we got a lot of balance here and putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work. This is the possible outcome. And one more, one more, one more possible outcome. Queen of Swords. So we have the King and the Queen of Swords. So we have a matching couple. So this is definitely a soulmate to inflame energy. Again, truth, clarity, divine energy. Shedding light on this for the two of you. Cutting away things not serving, energies not serving. Speaking with truth and clarity, clear communication between the two of you. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Three of Wands. So somebody's waiting, 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 waiting. And it's been a struggle, a battle, a fight here to wait, wait, wait. To rejoice, celebrate, reunite, come back together. <coughs> Having a good time. Here's my Twin Flame card, the Four of Wands. I did say that. Possible soulmate, Twin Flame energy here. Stable home life, marriage, commitment, ceremonies. Completion of the Four of Wands energy here. But somebody has to make that fiery, passionate communication. And again, being fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. I think we have the King or the Knight over here, I think. The King. And now we have the king, uh, Queen. So we've got the King of Queen of Swords, the King of Queen of Wands, and the Four of Wands. So this is definitely a soulmate energy, twin flame energy here. So again fiery passionate uh, couple a lot of truth and clarity between the two of you love passion i mean it's all here someone not wanting to be single anymore so we do have leo sagittarius we have leo sagittarius uh let's see and we have leo over here we have capricorn we have cancer uh libra gemini aquarius we have libra we have Aquarius, uh, let's see here, we have Aquarius, we have Pisces, so I mean we have a lot of, we have like all the signs here basically, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, we have all the energy here, so I see uh, you could be both sitting in this energy, okay, maybe it was agreement to be friends with benefits or be casual or whatever here, and you could both be sitting in this energy, okay, I know we have the strong, uh, passionate chemistry when we're together, but now maybe both wanting more to take a leap of faith into actually becoming uh, committed or more um, exclusive than just casual. No longer wanting to be single. So it's either mutual or one of you want it and is not telling the other kind of energy. Or you both could know the other wants it but not saying anything either. So however that resonates for you. But I definitely do see a very, very strong bond here with the strength card, soulmate twin flame energy. Things can move forward successfully between the two of you. You know, working on this, all your wishes and dreams coming true. All right, so let's get some extra messages for you here, Virgo. I do ask Virgo, especially if you knew you like my style and how I read, please check out my channel if you like what you see. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out on any readings. Right now I'm doing about five readings a month to love, to general, and a bonus. I may be switching that up. So I have, uh, if you go to my community tab, I have two polls I would like everyone to vote on. It would give me better clarity, clarity on what kind of readings you would like to see per month. And I've been thinking about doing extendeds on Vimeo. So if that is something you would like to see, please go over and vote. And if you do, thank you. So we have visualization here so really imagining what it would be like to be in this relationship and not just a casual energy with this person daydreaming kind of energy all right so what else for virgo environmental awareness so i don't know that's just a message for some so maybe you are both into the environment maybe that's how you met and we have here rise above problems. So I feel like I'm not really getting a problem. Could be, but you know, rising above this, I feel coming together. All right. So let's get a prayer affirmation for you, Virgo, to close this out. 
Virgo, Virgo. All right, Virgo. I feel like someone wants this to be more than just a casual connection. All right, prayer affirmation for Virgo, please. Thank you so much. Actually feeling this one right there. The Lord is my strength. And wow, we got strength right there. I can't make this up. And my shield. In him, my heart trusts. So just know this divinely guided energy that is protecting this connection. Wow. And that you can trust this person that is your divine uh, counterpart here. Wow. Okay, Virgo. Um, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.